I want to say a few words about nipple confusion and I go into a lot more detail on my website on cloudmom.com. Nipple confusion is a very common problem, especially among preemie babies who have invariably many bottles in the NICU overnight. What happens to these babies is, number one, they can be a little weak and fragile, and number two, they've had a lot of exposure to bottles early on. Meanwhile, most experts recommend that you do not introduce bottles until breastfeeding is well established, and in most cases, not before a full-term baby is a month old. So it can be a real battle with these preemie babies. You're trying to strike a balance because on the one hand, they really need to eat and you need to get the food in there so that they eat as frequently as possible and they get the calories and they get the food. And on the other hand, you don't want them to get so used to the bottles that they will no longer take the breast. This is not good in my view over the long term because you want your baby directly feeding from your breast. Why? Because you will continue to produce more milk. And number two, it's a lovely experience for you and it's a lovely experience for your baby and a wonderful way to bond. So with all that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more in detail about what happened with me and Bracey since we got home from the NICU. And I talked about a bit of this last week, but I've now been able to reflect more and think more about the strategy. And I do feel that I'm now overcoming the nipple confusion. So I wanted to walk you guys through what happened. Okay, so here's Bracey, he's a preemie. During his last few weeks of the NICU, I was able to nurse him, I would say about three times a day, and it was going pretty well. He would nurse for around 15, 30 minutes maybe, and then they would often supplement that nursing session with milk that he was getting through the feeding tube. So that seemed to go well. Then we got home. The first week that we were home, we did about three bottles a day. That pretty much worked, and when we brought Bracey in for his first pediatrician appointment, he gained around 20 grams a day, so the pediatrician was happy. All seemed to be fine. Then came the nightmare of week two. I was totally exhausted. I was juggling my five kids plus Bracey. Really, really tired. I was doing a lot of sideline breastfeeding position at night where I would put Bracey to latch on and then fall asleep, not really realizing how much he was eating, so that didn't work. And I think, frankly, he was getting too tired out at the breast and he wasn't drinking enough milk. So when I brought him in for the second pediatrician appointment, and I just am like ashamed to admit this, but I had to admit it last week, he had only gained 20 grams from the prior week, which was not enough at all. I spent the day sobbing, feeling like a failure. And as I described last week, once I sort of got my bearings, I decided to try to make a plan, which always makes me feel better, and to do a little more research. So I first called my sister-in-law, Eileen, my sister, who's a pediatrician and one of the most awesome people around, and she gave me the following advice. She said, listen, you know what? With these babies, you just gotta get it in there. It doesn't matter how, just get the milk in there. They have to get that milk in there. That will make them stronger. Eventually, he will come back to the breast. Don't sweat, whether it's breast or bottle. So I was like, okay. Then I called Tritche, my really close friend who happens to be one of the head NICU nurses where Bracey was. And I'm like, how do I do this? And she said, listen, try nursing him for 15 or so minutes so you know he's still getting all that exposure to the breast. And at that point, top him off with a bottle and pump a little bit. So this is what we did during the five days after that recent pediatrician's appointment. My kids were amazing. We did the 15 minutes of breastfeeding, which my boy's like, mom, cover up. You know, they're so appalled. I'm like walking around breastfeeding all this. They just can't stand it. But we did the 15 minutes of breastfeeding. Then my kids would often give Bracey a bottle. Sometimes I did it also while I pumped. We did this religiously every three hours. And actually the amount of milk he was drinking also increased to about 110 milliliters of feed, which is really a lot. Well, bingo. I took Bracey to the doctor this past Wednesday. He had gained 70 grams a day for a total of 350 grams over five days. I was beside myself. I don't think I've ever felt so proud nearly in my whole life after having had the experience of giving birth to my other babies. So anyway, that was wonderful. But now we're in a different stage. After that, I decided, well, listen, Bracey, now we have to strike a balance. We're not just gonna keep topping off every breastfeeding session with a bottle and I talked to the pediatrician about it and we agreed three bottles a day. And he told me, nurse him for 30 minutes and then if he's still hungry, top him off with the bottle. Because you don't want the nursing to go on and on and on so much that the baby gets tuckered out. 
they get too tired, and then they can't take the bottle, then they don't get enough food, then the nursing schedule gets all out of whack, and rather than doing eight feeds, you know, you're doing fewer. Now, my pediatrician also told me that I could go down to seven feeds, which was great. So here's what happened. Bracy in only five days, had gotten used to the bottle, I swear to God. I was like, wow. I put him on the breast one of the times, I think it was like Thursday morning, and he goes like this. He's wide awake. He should have been starving, and he's like, where's my bottle? And I'm like, guess what? You're not getting your bottle. We were in a battle. I let him sit there like this. And I swear to, I was almost like crying. I'm like, this is done. I can't believe it. I have a nine week old baby who's already rejecting the breast. Like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go into a depression because I love breastfeeding. So anyway, lo and behold, at around 20 minutes after the point at which I put that baby on my nipple, he gave in. <laughs> He's like, hmm, I don't know if that bottle's coming. I better start sucking on this nice warm breast. And he started to suck and he started to take the milk and I could hear the sound of him swallowing and the milk going down the baby's throat, he was back to breastfeeding. More than he had done even in the prior week for the 15 minutes before he had those top of feeds with the bottle. So anyway, in the past three days, I've given about two to three bottles a day. I'm still doing the three bottles because I need to make sure he has the food and he gains the weight, but I am back to doing full on breastfeeding sessions. They take time, I have to keep waking him up, I have to keep making sure you know he latches on and he drinks the milk, but he's doing it. And so I would say that two things have really helped me. And I want you guys to do the same if you're dealing with nipple confusion. The two things are perseverance, Winston Churchill's expression, and I'm paraphrasing and probably not saying it correctly, never, never, never give up. And the other thing is patience. A baby who's gotten accustomed to a bottle very likely will latch onto the nipple and not do anything for quite a while. It could be 10 or 20 minutes, even 30 minutes, and then they will start to nurse. So you have to be very patient. Give yourself the time, sit in the nursing chair, just say, you know what, I'm gonna give this whatever time I'm gonna give it, go over the time with your pediatrician and allow that baby to take his time and eventually to come back to nursing. I feel like we're on the road here to going back to the breast. So anyway, those are my tips when it comes to overcoming nipple confusion with a premature baby who has gotten too accustomed to the bottle. And I think that could also apply to a full-term baby. And I hope that they're helpful to you guys.